Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would do a video which I've seen quite a few people do and I did one very similar a couple of weeks ago. The one that I did a few weeks ago was full face of overrated products and uh, obviously a lot of the comments on that video, you guys were asking if I could do the same sort of thing, but this time a full face of underrated products. Wait, did I get those the right way around? I'm pretty sure that quite a few other YouTubers have done this video before. I think Laura Lee has done it. Um, I think a couple of other people have done it as well. Um, and yeah, I'm basically gonna be talking about products that I think don't get enough hype and deserve some more love because they're really great. And some of these products are kind of like gonna be obvious if you guys watch my videos a lot, but others, like I haven't really spoken about that much on my channel um, and I don't really know why. Also, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all of your um, like really lovely comments on my previous video. Uh, Cause I was saying that I've not not really been like you know not really had the best time recently and so many of you guys were so so lovely in the comments so thank you guys so much i'm just trying to pick a comment for the notification score shout out and literally just reading through all of these comments makes me want to cry okay so today's notification score shout out goes to carly cowan and she said hope you're okay so if notification squad p.s we don't mind when you are not feeling it we know you are here and thinking about us and we are thinking about you too thank you so much carly and just everyone for all of your lovely comments all right let's put some makeup on my face oh my god my room is a mess i can't even move my tripod around without it something like that's not even a joke there is not any floor space in my room um you know what i'm gonna use my disney ears to put my hair back today because why the heck not oh ow oh they're really quite itchy as you can see my skin has not been like the best recently i think i've just been getting a lot of like stress acne um because i keep getting spots that pop up like in random places on my face which i haven't had for a while <laughs> so the foundation that i'm using today is the i've spoken about this before i've actually got a whole video on this this is the max factor face finity all day flawless three in one foundation if you guys are in america it's the same as the cover girl three in one foundation and this is just a really good drugstore foundation but i literally never hear anybody talk about Max Factor in the UK, I feel like it's a little bit of a kind of like dying brand because I don't really, okay that sounded really harsh didn't it? <laughs> but like I just never hear anybody talk about Max Factor and they have some amazing stuff, their mascaras as well are incredible. I have the shade Light Ivory 40. Ooh, okay you know when you haven't used a foundation in ages and it's just got like this dried up lumpy crusty bit on the front, okay. I literally just dropped my beauty blender into a pile of dust. That is when you know that you need to clean your room. It's just a really nice everyday foundation. It blends really nicely. Um, it doesn't have full coverage, but it's kind of got a nice, like medium sort of coverage. And for concealer, I'm not gonna lie, this was probably the most difficult out of picking makeup for this type of video because a lot of the concealers that I use uh, are really kind of popular. I do have two different ones here. Okay, there's like two shades of one of them, so that's why there's three, but the first one is the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. I have this in two different shades. It's just the one with the orange lid. And then the second one is the Barry M All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer, and I've got this in the shade number one, Milk. I'm surprised that I haven't heard more people talk about this recently because it's pretty new and the shades go pretty light and they've also got some like pretty dark ones as well. I think today I'm gonna go for the Essence one. To be honest, both of these shades are pretty much the same. Like I'm gonna use the shade 05 Ivory. You see, like it does a pretty good job. It's not the best concealer in the whole world, but I think for a drugstore concealer that's so cheap, it's definitely worth a try. Then just to show you how light it is, I am gonna go in with a tiny bit of the Barry M1 just also under my eyes. Like, look at that! Then a face powder that I really, really like, but again, I don't hear many people at all talk about this. Well, especially not in the past, like, five years. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Powder, and as you can see from this, I've pretty much used it all up because I liked it that much. I have the shade Fair Light. It just works setting my makeup and keeping my face matte. I feel like it adds a tiny bit of extra coverage as well. Then for contour, obviously like the one that I talk about all the time is the Bleach London Contournuity in the shade Bones 4. Again, I haven't heard that many people talk about that, but I wasn't gonna use it today because I talk about it 
all the damn time. So I thought I would go for this one because again, especially in the UK, I don't really hear that many people, well, I haven't really heard anyone talk about this. This is the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder um, and I have the shade Natural. It comes with an under eye setting powder and then this contour shade and it's just a really nice contour shade. It's not too cool, not too warm, it's just somewhere in the middle. Wait, this doesn't have a mirror. It's really pigmented, so you just need the tiniest bit. But you know, it just works and it's pretty cheap as well. I think it's about six or seven pounds from Beauty Bay. Okay, actually, maybe I'll put a bit too much on. For my bronzer, I feel like these are so underrated because I, I just need more people to talk about these. If you guys know other people that love these bronzers in particular, let me know because I feel like we would get along just fine. Holy crap, my teeth look so white in the viewfinder. I have been whitening them, but I feel like under these lights, they look extra white. Anyway, you guys will know what these are if you watch my videos consistently. The Kiko just baked bronzers that they, what annoys me so much about Kiko, love them as a brand, but all of their best stuff, they release as limited edition items and then they get discontinued. And I'm like, why do you do this? This is the Kiko Full 2.0 bronzer, which is probably my favorite bronzer of all time. Um, it's just this giant baked bronzer. I use this pretty much every day and okay, it's starting to go down now, but it's lasted ages, it smells like chocolate, it's got a mirror, um, and they've recently come out with this other collection, which is the Golden Waves co uh, collection. This one is in Sun Celebration Honey. It's pretty much the same sort of thing. They're both these just giant baked bronzers, and they are so nice. They are quite pricey. I think they're around 20 pounds, which is quite a lot for Kiko, but um, honestly, completely worth it because you get so much in here and I just love them, I love them so much. I don't even know if they're still available. If they are, I'll link them down below. But Kiko, please, please bring out a range of baked bronzers that are permanent because they're just so good. And for blush, this is actually something that's high end, but I know that so many people love the Ofra highlighters, but I don't hear that many people talk about their blushes. This blush is in the shade Bellini. I'm not too sure how expensive these are. Let me just Google it because I don't wanna you know, be putting out false information. Okay, what the heck, they don't even have these on Beauty Bay, I'm really offended. I know that they sell some of Ofra's blushes on Beauty Bay, so I don't know why they don't have this one, but on the Ofra website is $29, which is a lot of money. Um, I do have a discount code with them, which is SOF30, I believe, and it gets you 30% off, but that's only on their like main website, obviously, in, if you're in the UK. They do sell Ofra on Beauty Bay, but I don't think they have this one. Anyway, it's just a really, really gorgeous blush. It blends really nicely. It's a really pretty color. Um, I just really, really like it. The full highlight, I thought that this was gonna absolutely blow up as soon as it was released because it's just so good. But again, not that many people have spoken about this. This is the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. Well, just these Supreme Highlighters in general. They've got like three different shades, I think. This one is in ice and you get three different highlighters, but the pigmentation of these is literally like on another level. These are just stunning. They are so incredibly pigmented. Um, to be fair, I only really like the shade in the middle. Okay, fine. When I actually put this on my face, I do have to say like the Ofra ones are definitely more pigmented and they blend a little nicer, but these are just still, it's such a blinding highlighter that I'm surprised that more people have not spoken about these because I think it's like eight pounds. Are people still as obsessed with highlighter as they used to be? Let me know down below, are you guys still like crazy about highlighter or is it kind of dying? For my eyebrows, again, I haven't spoken about this that much on my channel, but I really, really like it. This is the LA Splash Hydrangea Taupe, well, that's just the shade that I have um, in Hydrangea Taupe, but this is the Ultra Defined Brows thing, and it comes in a little ball, which I have to say, the packaging is a little bit like chunky. Mine is a little bit like cracked and funky looking, but this is so good. The color is really good. It goes on really nicely. It's waterproof. It's a cheaper alternative to the Anastasia one, and I just really, really like it. Also, another thing that's underrated is this brush. This brow brush is the best brow brush I have ever used in my entire life, and I don't actually know what I did before I got this. Okay, I was just really interrupted. This is the Benefit brow brush. It's such a dense, stiff, skinny little brow brush. It's the best thing 
in the world. Okay, maybe that was a bit dramatic, but it's really good, guys. Next is something that literally changed my brow game, and I know that the Benefit Gimme Brow gets a lot, a lot of love, but I feel like this is not talked about enough, and it's the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't use this for ages because I was very confused and scared about what it was, because it says that it, it's subtle brow enhancing highlights, and it's it's like metallic when you open it. It looks like a metallic brown colour, so I was like, why would you want to make your brows metallic? Um, I think they do two different shades. I've got the lighter one, which is shade 2, and then they've got a darker one, which is shade 4. But it's got a really nice little brush, which has got like a funny little bit on the end. But basically, this doesn't make your eyebrows metallic, but it just defines them so nicely and you can see like each of the kind of individual brow hairs and it almost kind of like does highlight your brows but it doesn't make them sparkly um like I, I, I don't know how to describe it but it just it adds a little extra bit of tint to your brows makes them look a lot more fluffy and for my eyes I'm using the blank canvas cosmetics master series palette one um, this is what the packaging looks like and then you open it up it comes with a brush it's got a mirror and then it's got these really pretty warm tone shades I think the reason that not a lot of people speak about this is because blank canvas cosmetics is quite hard to get hold of in the UK I think it's an Irish brand um, but this palette is really beautiful to be honest I don't really use it enough it just kind of sits in my drawer um, but also the brush that comes with it is really nice as well you get like a fluffy blending brush and then a flat brush it's just a really nice everyday palette all of the shades are matte apart from this one which is called goddess it's definitely a very everyday sort of palette the colors aren't too intense they're all just very neutral I'm literally doing the most basic eye look today because I don't want anything too crazy Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the first shade that I used was the shade Strut. I then used a bit of Downtown and now I'm just using a bit of Cocoa, which is slightly warmer. Okay, then on my inner corners I'm taking this shimmery shade, which is called Goddess. Which is beautiful. And for my eyeliner, a couple of months ago I discovered this one and I've just been keeping it in my bag just for when I'm on the go. Sometimes when I have to do my eyeliner on the train or if I just want to touch up my eyeliner throughout the day because maybe my lash is starting to peel off and I'm just trying to disguise it by making my liner thicker. You guys know what I'm saying? This is the LA Splash Art Art Architect waterproof slim eyeliner and this is actually a really good dupe of the Kat Von D one it's got one of those really small bristle brushes that's actually got like brush hairs like look at that bish bash bosh we've got a wing I just love it I think it's great it's really easy to get like a precise line and it's really black really easy to use it doesn't bleed moving on to mascara I've actually got two to talk about they're both by Miss Sporty they are both so cheap I think they're 3 dollars the first one is probably my favorite and it's the 100% rock pump up booster mascara it's got quite fat packaging and the brush looks like this it's natural bristles and it's kind of like got two little bulges kinda if you see what I mean and then the second one is the Miss Sporty Studio Lash Happy Eyes Mascara the packaging's a little bit leery I'm not gonna lie and it's covered in emojis but this one is very very different it's got a plastic bristle brush and the bristles are really really short this one's definitely a lot better if you want to really separate your lashes and lengthen them the other one's a lot better if you want oh nearly dropped my mirror on the floor that would have been seven years bad luck I do not need that right now but I'm gonna use the 100% rock one because it really just is pretty good for $3.99. Like, I'm not saying it's my favourite mascara in the whole world, but it's definitely underrated. And if you're like on a budget and you want a mascara that's, you know, gonna do the job, then I would definitely recommend it. Okay, the final step to this look is the lips. And I know that tons of American beauty gurus rave about Morphe as a brand, but I've only really like, well, I know that some of them have probably talked about these, but like not that many. I feel like when people rave about Morphe, they focus more on their brushes and their palettes and trying to promote their code and stuff like that, which, you know, I have no issue with, but obviously I don't have a code with Morphe. Um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that their liquid lipsticks are actually really good and I think that they should get more recognition because they're a really nice formula, they smell nice, um, they go on really smoothly, they don't feel super dry or anything. This colour in particular is the shade Virgin. Ooh, that tickles. 
It's just a really, really gorgeous nude. Um, I absolutely love it. Right, let's remove these ears because I'm not gonna lie, they're really quite hurting my head. So this is the look. See, I just really like like the overall look. I think my makeup looks really nice and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have discovered... Oh, well, I have just discovered something. I just looked over to my desk. Actually, I don't even know if I wanna say this because I feel like you guys are gonna think I'm gross, but I feel like we've all been there. I, right, I was away for the weekend visiting my friend at uni and I left like a tiny bit of orange squash in a glass on my desk and I've just looked over and there's a literal mole growing on it. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm not kidding. Can you guys see this? Like, can you see there's actual mole? That's... That is disgusting. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't even know. I just like this makeup look. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it from me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I would love to know down below what are the products that you love that you don't hear many people talk about because I am all down for trying new things. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you have enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe, I mean I wouldn't say no. Thank you very much. And yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.